Good morning and welcome to today's International Space Station Update Hour. Getting a look now here inside the flight control room in Houston, Texas, while the Orbit 2 team is on console, monitoring systems on board the orbiting laboratory. That team today is being led by Flight Director Ron Spencer, there in the center of your screen, and joining him just to the top is Capcom. Richard Arnold serving as the communication link between controllers here on the ground and the astronauts in space. And those crew members up there right now are the Expedition 30 crew, and they are being led by NASA astronaut Dan Burbank there in the front center of your screen on the left, and then behind him, Russian cosmonauts Anton Shkoplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin. On the right side of the screen, you have the remaining three crew members, European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers, Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko, and NASA astronaut Don Pettit. Crew awoke today at about midnight central time and began their day with a daily, daily planning conference before moving into some ver fairly rigorous experiment and maintenance activities. Commander Burbank is finishing up some internal thermal control sam system sampling, taking some samples from the Tranquility and Harmony modules today, as well as doing a microscope checkout on the JAXA clean bench in the Kibo Japanese module. Later on in the day, he'll be doing some on-orbit training with the Space Station's Remote Manipulator System, or the robotic arm, along with Andre Kuipers and Don Pettit. You can see that robotic arm there, just in the center of your screen. Russian cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov is continuing with some cargo stowage audits, as there has been a number of resupply actions going on here with a recent progress departure just a few days ago and the progress launch scheduled for later today. He will also be participating in the BAR experiment, which is a Russian look at selection and testing of different detection methods and then means for searching for depressurization of any of the International Space Station modules. And he'll be joined in that by fellow Russian cosmonaut Anatoly Ivanishin. Even each and along with that bar experiment, we'll be working on Pneumocard, which is a, another Russian study that looks at the adaptation of the astronaut's cardiovascular system, one of the many bodily systems that is affected during that, by that microgravity environment during these long-duration space flights. The final Russian cosmonaut, Alog Kononenko, is also assisting Shkoplerov in some of that equipment audit, looking at all the cargo remaining on board, before doing some maintenance on the Russian segment coolant systems as well as the electron system, which generates oxygen for the astronauts on board. European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers did some work in the nano racks today, doing a microscope checkout of his own before doing some software updates and also participating in a public affairs event with European industry leaders and media on the ground. Rounding out the crew, astronaut Don Pettit participated in the LEGOs experiment, which uses the famous LEGO building blocks that you can find here on Earth. He built a LEGO model of the Solar Dynamics Observatory, as well as a radar satellite as part of an educational event on board the station. He'll also do some maintenance on the waste and hygiene compartment and also starting up his integrated cardiovascular monitoring system, which is an American experiment similar to that Russian pneumocard studying the cardiovascular system. The other major event on the docket for today will be that Progress 46 launch, which will take place later today at 5.06 p.m. Central Time.